Hello, I'm going to show you how to acid wash the barrel and get all the lead out of the bore, the burn ring on the back side just in front of the chamber, and then also on the front of the barrel you're going to have little pit marks that are sometimes very hard to remove. And if you try to remove those with a traditional cleaning, we're going to do a traditional cleaning, a good thorough cleaning before we acid wash uh, the barrel. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to do that first, and the second part of the video we'll do the actual acid washing. But I'm going to go ahead and clean this first, but I want to show you what we're going to achieve is we're going to remove the lead in between the lands and grooves. Now in the grooves, in these very corners, and you can't see the lead build up. Over time you can, but about every thousand rounds I like to remove it. And traditional cleaning, even if you use the bronze bore brush, I don't care how much you use it, you're going to have a slight buildup of lead. So I think for the competition shooters, this will be very interesting. So let's go ahead and get started with a good cleaning of the barrel itself and the bore. And I'm going to use my Mineral Spirits and my WD-40. 25% WD-40, 75% odorless Mineral Spirits. Now you can see on the bottom, the liquid is clear from the bottom up. It's deceiving because there's a lot of fouling on the bottom. That's probably three, at least three dozen gun cleanings. But what's nice about this method is, versus using a gun solvent, which is a noxious smell, I'm able to use a larger volume and clean everything out each time I, each time I run this through. So I'm going to start with my nylon brush, and I'm going to run that through. And just let that let that soak in there for a minute while I clean the outside of the barrel on both ends. Okay. Now I'm going to take one of my little makeup pads that I get at Walmart, and I'm just going to clean the outside. Now my front sight is off because we're going to acid wash this. So you want the gun, you you want the barrel completely, but nothing on it. You want that front sight off. Okay, and the back side. Now I'll show you those little pot marks that'll, that'll tend to accumulate on the front of the barrel. Now you can get real aggressive and get those off. I don't want to do that. So I do this about every thousand rounds. I acid wash the barrel, but you can see the front of that. See those little pot marks on there, almost like little welding marks. They're actual lead and burnt on carbon. And if I try and get too aggressive with that, I'll mar the original finish that matte finish that's on the barrel, and I don't want to do that. Now acid washing that will completely remove all of that. Okay, so we're done there. The outside is done. You can see what came off of there. Now I'm going to give the bore a good scrub down. Okay, I ran my uh, nylon brush through, and now I'm going to go ahead and run my bronze bore brush through. Just back and forth, all the way back to the chamber, and you can, I don't know if you can see how dirty that is, but I'll give that a good rinse, and once you give that a good rinse, what's nice with using the uh, WD-40 and the Mineral Spirits, it cleans that bronze bore brush off like brand new all the time, keeps it like new. And I don't have chemical going all over the table and all over my hands. Now the more you do of this, the less cleaning patches you're going to use. And that's going to get the majority of the lead, the burnt carbon, out of the rifling. Get down into those grooves real well. Okay, that should be plenty for that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my patches through. Here I have some one inch cotton patches, one inch Viva paper towels, which really is one of my favorite ways instead of using the uh, cotton. I think it gets down in the lands and grooves better, but it's uh, 
soft and strong like cloth. And they really are. And I can custom cut them any size I want. So I've got the uh, one inch Viva paper towels and the one and a quarter inch Viva paper towels. So I'm going to start with the uh, one inch cotton. Run that through. And I'm going to use my Wonder Gun Rod. They're available at fixvictory.com. And this nylon bore brush comes with the uh, 22 caliber bore polishing kit, which you can, you can find that on fixvictory.com. And you're going to see this patch is not going to come out extremely filthy dirty because we went from the bronze bore brush to the nylon bore brush, and that got a good percentage of that out of there. And this bore has about 300 rounds that was put through it. Which you'll see, it, you, you saw the before shot with the eye loop at the very beginning of the video what I did was held that up to the camera and showed you a shot of the bore with the fouling in it so I'm going to go ahead now I'm going to use one of my uh, Viva paper towels run that through you just want to really get this bore nice and clean before we do the acid wash. You see how clean that is now. See it's not that dirty. Okay, now I'm going to take and I'm going to run a cotton patch through with a little bit of alcohol, just rubbing alcohol. I want to make sure that I remove all of the uh, petroleum in here. So I just take my rubbing alcohol and run that through. This will clean any of that petroleum out of there before I do my acid wash. And that's our final preparation for doing the acid wash. Then I'm going to show you what this bore looks like nice and clean before we do the acid wash. And I'll show you that with the eye loop, let you see that. Okay, here's the front side. You can see those little pot marks on the front that we're going to remove with the acid wash and you can see down in the bore and you see that's nice and clean now let's take a look at the back side and we'll try and get so that you can see that burn ring in there you'll see a distinctive ring hopefully just forward of the chamber and that's what we want to also remove with the acid wash. Okay, now we're ready to do an acid wash using the ultrasonic cleaner. And let me show you the mix. This is going to be a full strength mix. It's going to be 50% of each one of these white distilled vinegar, which is a 5% solution of distilled vinegar, and then a 3% solution of hydrogen peroxide. That's going to make our parasitic acid. So it's a straight 50-50 mix, half and half. Depending on the size container you use, obviously you're going to use more of each. But let me set these out of the way. Okay, in this container I've got my 50-50 mix of hydrogen peroxide and my white distilled vinegar. In this container I have, it's roughly about 12 ounces of water 10 to 12 ounces of water, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one half teaspoon of palm olive dishwashing detergent. You can use Dawn dish, dishwashing detergent or any dishwashing detergent that you choose. I just, I just, uh, I like the palm olive original green dishwashing detergent. In this container, I have just pure water. So this will be my final rinse. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to place our barrel, but before I do, I want to give you some cautions on parasitic acid. It is very corrosive to soft metals, and that's what we want to remove from here. Uh, copper tracings, lead tracings, and the burnt carbon. 
it will remove those quite nicely, and in, in fact quite aggressively. It will not react with your stainless steel. So the other thing you want to be cautious of is you want to may wear safety goggles. You want to definitely use either latex or nitrile gloves. Anything that touches this parasitic acid, you, your hand, you don't want to splash it on you. You want to make sure that that lid goes on as soon as you place the barrel in there. Parasitic acid, the fumes are very irritating to the eyes, nose, lungs, throat, mouth. You do not want to get it on you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my lid and I'm going to place my barrel and put the lid back on immediately. Now I'm going to set my barrel in like that, place my lid back on and neutralize my fingertips where I just touched that. I don't want that obnoxious smell. Now this glove I'm going to discard and I'll get a new one when I remove the barrel. So now what I'm going to do is snap my lid on and I'm going to place it into my ultrasonic cleaner. In the ultrasonic cleaner you have a minimum line in there. You want to make sure you put water in that ultrasonic cleaner. You want to bring it up fairly close to that minimum line. When you place this container in the, in the ultrasonic cleaner, you want to make sure that that water level is at least at the minimum line or a little bit above. You don't want to put too much water in here, otherwise this is floating around on you. So I'm going to go ahead and place this in. And you just want to try and pick a container. that You want to use the smallest amount of solution possible. So we place it in our ultrasonic cleaner. I set it for 480 seconds. Now I'm going to run that two times to start. Pull the barrel out, check it, and I may have to go a third or a fourth. Now it's been about a thousand rounds. I want to make sure that burn ring is completely gone. That's the hardest thing to get rid of. So I will see you back uh, in 480 seconds times twice. So that'll be 16 minutes. I'll see you back in 16 minutes. Okay, we're just finishing up on our 480 seconds three times. So it's a total of 24 minutes. Go ahead and pull it out and that should complete this process. It was just a little bit in there that broke away. See, when we originally looked through that bore after cleaning it real good, you couldn't see any of that. But after you run it through with the uh, parasitic acid, it breaks all that stuff up. And what I should have done was, in the last, after running it twice, 480 seconds, I should have just run my nylon brush through, which I'm going to do this time. Remember, we've got to put that lid on back right away. You don't want to smell this stuff. Into our neutralizing solution. Set this out of the way. And I'm going to run my nylon bore brush through. And you'll definitely be able to feel a difference the way that bore brush glides through there. Fresh water over our final rinse, and this should be like factory brand new at this point. Nothing but raw stainless steel, absolutely no contaminants. Okay, set that out of the way. Get rid of the nitrile glove. Dry this down real good. through and dry that out real good and let you take a look at it. I want to look at it with the eye loop first then I'll hold the eye loop up to the camera again so you can see what it looks like. A 
I'm going to run one more dry patch through. That was pretty wet. Just absorb all that water so that doesn't show up on the camera. Take a look in there with the eye loop. Okay, that's in beautiful shape. Okay, now at this point, there's nothing in there. The fact the burn ring is completely gone, I'll show you that. Okay, now at this point, you're going to go ahead and you're going to oil the bore. And you can use whatever oil you choose. I just happen to use my Ballastol. Okay. I'm going to run a dry patch through. And then we'll take a look at it again. Okay. Let me take a look at that with the eye loop. Yeah, that's just absolutely gorgeous. You're definitely going to see a big difference. Okay, if you notice on the, the front of the barrel, all the pit marks are gone. And completely removed and then we'll check with the eye loop and we'll see on the back side of the barrel you'll see that burn ring is completely gone you can see the rifling where the rifling starts and on the front you can see all the pit marks are gone and check out that rifling Take it the back side one more time. So at this point, this is the absolute perfect time to polish the bore. And I do that every thousand rounds. And I'll be doing a bit, I'll do another video on that <coughs> with the raw barrel, because that's just 100 percent pure stainless steel, no contaminants whatsoever. So this is absolutely the perfect time to uh, polish the bore. I want to thank you for watching and have a great day.